Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. Uh, sorry it's been a little while, but uh, I really wanted to collect all the information and get everything ready for this three-part series. Yes, I'm big time now. Three-part series on Frostagon with the new Update 32 because we've got a new thing that came out with Update 32 is that we actually got something called the Armory. Look at this. Look at this Armory station here. It's actually uh, free. You get it free. Free is always good. Let's look at our... Uh, if you look down in the features things. You get an Armory station here. You go into uh, the Crown Store. You click on it. You buy it. It's a furniture item. And um, you put it in your home. It's actually really, really cool. Here, if I should take this out. It's got you know, the little boots. Little target dummy. A lot of care went into making this look really, really cool. The candles. There's me fighting Zuna, and I'm pretty sure Zuna's winning. Um, so yeah, really great, um, uh, great new thing, new system that we have um, in the game. And what it's allowed me to do is that I've now taken Frostagon to the next level. Because you've known him so far as, you know, the dad build, the DPS dad build. Uh, you know, where it's uh, easy to get um, the, uh, the, the armor pieces and weapons and uh, it does meaningful damage and it's a lot of fun to play. Uh, but now with this, I can very easily do a tank roll, DPS roll, and a healer roll. Um, on my one character and switch between them very easily. So this first video is going to be showing you a little bit how the armory works, um, but then discussing, you know, what I've got for my build with the update 32. Not too much has changed, but I wanted to kind of give you a rundown of it. And uh, so this one will be probably a shorter of the, of the th well, I say that, but you know, probably not going to be that much shorter. Um, and also explaining a little bit of the, of the armory station. All right, so let's take a peek. Uh, well, actually, before you go to the armory station, what you want to do is make sure that you have your character just the way that you want them. All right, make sure that you have like all the skills that you want, have, you know, your front bar, your back bar, everything in there because it's going to save everything. It's even going to save your CP points um, in there and um, your... Uh, your little um, uh, quick bar reticule. Anything you put in here is also going to be saved. Uh, the only thing that's not saved is your Mundus. Um, so uh, hopefully that'll um, uh, be put in in a later patch. But for right now, everything but the Mundus basically is saved. And so after you save your build, if you make any changes to it and then equip it again uh, through this station, it's going to go back to this build, this saved build, uh, which is uh, good and a little tricky at the same time, because if you, um, um, uh, because any uh, you know, points or any skills or anything that you've changed uh, since saving your build, you actually um, can get that refunded if you want to just go back to the way things were. Uh, but you also have to be careful of the reverse in there if you've made a whole lot of changes to things and then you, uh, uh, you forget to save it. And then you equip your build. It's it's a little tricky. So uh, 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 equipping build, saving build, using terms I haven't shown you yet. Let me show you what you got. So you go over to an armory station. You click on it. And it gives you these little slots. There's Frostagon. There's a Frosty DPS, Frosty Tank, and Frosty Healer. All right. And what it does is that you get two of these at the start. All right. Two of these at the start. And then after that, you have to... Uh, purchase them uh, very much like the outfit station uh, except uh, we get two instead of just the the one with the outfit station and they are uh, 1500 crowns each to, to get more slots for anything that you want to do but within these if you see if I click on it it has saved everything that I have now if you do it the first time um, it's going to look more like this it's going to look blank all right and so what you do your first time is, like, like I said, once you've got your character all set up, CP points, everything you want in there, you go down here to save build, and it will save it. So let's say that I clicked on save build, and it saved this. All right? Now, um, if I uh, 
you know, they go out into the world and I'm spending, let's say I, I, I spent a CP point, yeah, not CP point, I spent points in here and I put a few points into here and I'm like, uh, or I changed a, um, 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 you know, a, a settings of my CP, uh, there's fighting fitness and I put it to backstab instead. Um, and I confirmed that and everything. And I, so I've done some changes to it. Um, so like, I wouldn't be doing this willy nilly if I couldn't change it back. Just FYI. <laughs> so you made all kinds of changes. You've done all kinds of things and you're like, you know what? I liked it the way that it was, or I messed up somehow. Don't save it at this point. Go back to the build and hit equipped build. All right. And actually, let me show you because you can visually see this if I put another skill on. So let's put like a skill in the middle and like the bird skill here. All right. So we'll be looking at those two skills. So if I go here to my armory station and you see I don't have those that bird skill and that other one in there. Now if I equip the build. All right. Those are there, and now I look. See, the dive is gone, the swarm is gone that I put in there. So it's a really wonderful way, and a lot of people have gotten creative with this. Like if they didn't have enough skill uh, skill points to do, do uh, their high level crafting on a tune yet, uh, but they want to use the tune and go out there and battle, um, so they would have you know um, one of these set to. Um, um, to their crafting needs and one of them set to their you know battling needs um, so it's a really kind of a nice interface uh, but again if you make any kind of changes you know if you if you equip a new armor piece uh, that happened to me the other day I was doing some parsing and um, uh, when I uh, when I parse on the dad build I use uh, and I'll explain this a little bit later I use harpooner all right so I've got harpooner in there and stuff and at one point, I'm like, oh, I gotta, I just want to go back to the things that I was using before. But I still wanted to use Harpooner, and I forgot about it. I hit Equip Build. All right, Build Equipped. And then I leave here, and I forgot. See how it's not there anymore? It goes back to everything original that you saved. Armor, CP points. Um, your quick slot, your quick, your quick slot button, you know, all of that stuff, the setup of your keys, CP, everything. So yeah, so you've got to make sure if you make any changes to that and it's the new changes you want, you got to go in there and save it. All right. Now, once you kind of get the gist of that, all right, and hopefully I explained it well and not too, too fast for you. Um, once you get that, then like I said, you can start making other builds and have them swap out. All right, so I made the tank build, okay? And so now I can like click on the tank build. I got all my setup, all my things that I've got that I'll explain in another video, all right? And now I can equip build. And I actually gave it, you can actually give it a different uh, outfit. I called it the uh, winter is coming because it, it looks a little bit more uh, uh, warm. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, but I go and I do that and now I equip that build. Boom, and you can visually see because I added an outfit to it that I look a little bit different. I've got a shield. I've got a sword. All my skills are different. All right? Yeah. All my armor is different than what I was having before. And I have that with my healer as well. If I want to switch over and go over to my healer build. Boom. Quit build. Boom, I've got my healer. So again, you have to be careful. You know, and I always ask you, you know, don't go too fast. I always ask you, do you want to equip this build? Do you want to save this build? Because, you know, there is the thing that you could save over a build by accident. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's how that works. Really cool. And like I said, it has allowed me now to make three versions of Frostagon which I believe are a great dad build solution to giving you a tank, giving you a healer, and our good old DPS that we've been using. Uh, now, do you have to do this all in one character? No, of course you don't. 
uh, in there. But it was it's fun for me to be able to flip back and forth really quick. I really like it if I'm like in a dungeon or a, um, if someone, you know, if we're queuing up for something and, and we've got enough DPS, I'm like, oh, let me try taking this one or let me try healing this one. You know, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, but the builds themselves are very good builds and you will be able to use them, you know, independently on, you know, uh, on different characters or if you want to do like me and have one character that can fulfill all the roles. Um, it's a lot of fun. So, um, and uh, uh, I had uh, some wonderful people help me with these builds when I was kind of uh, thinking of them because I don't, I don't know tanks very well and I used to be a healer back in the Somerset days. I used to healer main. Um, but then I, I, I kind of stopped. So I haven't been healing for a while. <clears throat> so I, I picked a few people's brains. Uh, Skinny Cheeks was very uh, kind and, and, and giving me suggestions for the tank. Um, also, uh, Jimmy JJ Shabadoo was very nice in, in helping me with some ideas of uh, sets that would work. Because uh, we also want to have stuff that's fun that fits the Frosty theme as well. Um, and, uh, um, and then uh, my good friend uh, uh, It's Iffy helped me with a lot of the healer stuff. Uh, within that, and um, so we, we've kind of, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, came up with something that I think you all will really like, and very easy, in my opinion, easy to get, very effective for how easy they are to get um, within that. Um, the healer, uh, Frosty Healer, I have healed Vet um, hard, mode du uh, hard Mode Dungeons with it. Um, with the Frosty Tank, I was actually able to do uh, my, my first one was a vet um, um, dread seller uh, on there. Uh, not the hard modes because those are really hard for the tank. But I, I did the vet versions of that. Um, and we all know that the, my my uh, DPS, my frosted DPS, uh, frosting on the original um, is really good and can do you know everything from uh, veteran you know uh, rock grove to uh, to VMA to you know to whatever. So uh, very capable. Uh, and actually, I just got done, um, here, let me, actually, it doesn't really matter if I switch, but I will just anyway, just to kind of set him up a little bit, because we're going to be talking about him mostly in this one. I actually just got done um, uh, today, uh, earlier today, um, getting everything so that I got back up to 68k DPS. Um, with the new update, there were some changes. And um, I wanted to make sure that I could still get my 68K, which is what I was getting pre-patch. So I always like to do that, just to, you know, for all of my DPS. Um, I know I don't know do like the, the best, uh, you know, end game DPS, but we're not looking for that with a dad build. Um, and we'll talk more about that. So, uh, yeah, so a lot of fun things to go. So, uh, so that just gives you a little bit of the, the armory and what I've been doing and why, you know, I've, I've waited so long to to do some videos because I knew this was going to be um, uh, kind of a game changer and what I wanted to do with this and, and see if I could make it into like a, a tank and a healer. So, but let's start with the foundation. So Frostagon, um, our dad build, uh, we, uh, we call it a dad build because of the, the ease of gaining it and be able to put it together and the ability um, to be as effective as possible and have some fun with it. You know, um, frost, total frost builds are not meta. You know, um, there's a lot of things that do a lot more damage even with an award in which I am. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. And uh, from a lot of people, a lot of feedback I've gotten from you guys, um, from you all, is that um, that's not what you're looking for either. You just want to be effective and feel good and be able to um, uh, produce um, in situations. And I really push it. You know me because I, I do like, you know, the end game, end game content. Um, and uh, uh, except for like the, the, the real end game score pushing type of stuff. I don't do that stuff. But, I, you know, I, I've, I've done the hard modes in the, uh, uh, for every dungeon and I've done the, um, the vets and some of the hard modes for, uh, uh, for trials and such. Um, so, uh, so I'm capable of doing it. And so I wanted to find something that, you know, if you get a hold of this build and you make this, you are going to be, you know, maybe not as effective as I'm able to do, but close. That it's something that you feel very, very comfortable 
um, with doing. Um, and, uh, and that's the, the whole thing. We, you know, when, when we're gaming, we just want to feel, you know, effective and not feel like we're, you know, uh, keeping a group back or feel like, you know, someone's going to say, Hey, you know, you don't do a lot of DPS or whatever, you know? So we want good feels, uh, with this. And I think that's what I've been able to do with, with all three of the roles. So, all right. So let's look at, um, Frost guy. Well, first, let's look at the fashion. Can we can we admire the fashion? Uh, I call this Mister Freeze as far as my outfit. I like it. He's all ready for winter. All right, he's kind of encased in his old. I like this. I kind of pretend that this is like like uh, you know cold cells or something like that because you know when I go into uh, um, uh, the Deadlands and stuff, you know it's pretty hot. <laughs> so we got to make sure that we have all the cool stuff. Um, uh, in there. And so my fashion, um, I think is pretty on point. Um, and, uh, my back bar, I like my back bar as well. Uh, so we've got Frostcaster on the front and we have Iceheart on the back. So, you know, really liking that design. So, um, all right. Uh, let's turn you around here, buddy. Let's look at things. Let's see what we're, what we're doing now. Um, let's give the, the basics. Um, oh, this is the other thing. You might see something new flashing over here. Um, for when you make these, the, all the different um, uh, armory um, builds that you do, you have to keep them in your inventory. And they give you this little, like, you know, uh, crest with the shield and the swords kind of thing um, to let you know that uh, it's, they're locked into the armory. So, so, yeah, so now I have to keep a lot more, a lot more armor on it. Uh, for the other two builds, I just kept them at purple because, you know, other than the weapons, you don't need to. So, but for uh, for Frosty for Frosty here, Frosty gone, uh, the DPS, uh, we got it all golded out. So, we've got, of course, our Frostbite set. We're still using that in Divines. Um, it really doesn't matter what you have uh, in there. Um, it's being paired with Winter's Respite and their wonderful healing set that we really like. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Frostbite, the, um, you know, after the, um, the spell damage and crit and some more spell damage, big thing is that it uh, increases your damage done with Frost abilities by 8%, increases your damage done against chilled enemies, um, uh, by 4% and increases the damage done against afflicted with minor brittle, uh, by 2%. Um, and we're awarded, so it, it all kind of goes together uh, with that. Um, the other one that I love that uh, uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see that more people are using it uh, for a variety of builds, uh, uh, for DPS, for healing, for um, uh, for tanks even, you know, works out really well. Because when you cast abilities that leave an effect on the ground, it creates a healing circle for 10 seconds. It's pretty large, too, uh, for your group members to restore the health. Uh, when you stand inside it. So uh, it's it's really great when I'm doing stuff solo and in like VMA or something like that because I just fight everything in that circle. Um, and my healing, you know, does really well um, in that. Uh, the effect can occur every uh, 10 seconds and scales off of your highest, uh, uh, your higher of your max magic or stamina. So it's really a wonderful, if you haven't seen it in like my other videos, the one that usually procs the most is a blockade. So you go here. And see how big it is. It's actually like a circle that goes around in there. So it really, you know, you just stand in that and you get some nice heals there. Yeah. So, so again, yet yeah, going with our theme of frost. All right. Uh, and I have the winter's respite in the jewelry as well. So divines with uh, magica. Um, the jewelry is spell damage with bloodthirsty on all three. Now. Oh, and let me tell you how you get them. Frostbite, of course. Overland set. All right. From uh, Blackwood. Um, Winter's Respite. From uh, Western Skyrim. So you can either find them just out in the world, you know, overland sets. Uh, or people, when they find them, they put them up on traders. So very easy to acquire. Um, now. Yeah i got to make you work a little bit to get some stuff. Now, you don't need the perfected like I do, okay? You don't need the perfected like I do uh, because the, um, well, I'll talk about it. 
I am using on the front bar the Masters Perfected Ice Staff. Okay. Um, the thing that's different between uh, the Perfected and Non-Perfected, uh, this comes out of uh, Dragon Star Arena, which you can do on Normal or on Veteran, um, is the 103 to Spell Damage for us. It's Weapon or Spell Damage. Um, and that's not a lot. It's a little bit, but it's not a lot. And it's not a big thing, you know, because I, I know it's so much easier to go in on a uh, normal run and pick it up, especially with um, um, the new system that we have for, uh, for item drops, um, um, you know, uh, in the game now. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you don't need the perfected version. Um, you don't even need the perfection version, perfected version of Maelstrom. Uh, Ice Staff as well. That's my other one from V. Uh, from uh, uh, I got it from VMA, but you can go on normal uh, Maelstrom Arena and get it as well. Uh, that one's even like less of a thing that you need. Uh, the thing that changes is uh, uh, 1190 offensive penetration, and nowadays we have a lot of you know, a lot of extra penetration on a lot of our builds. Uh, usually too much, uh, especially when we're in groups and doing stuff. Um, so. Uh, uh, so that one really doesn't matter. So <coughs> excuse me, you don't have to get the perfected versions of both of those. So Overland sets for Frostbite and Winter's Respite. And then go into uh, um, a group arena, uh, Dragon Star Arena on normal with a group. Uh, go through there. Uh, at the very end um, in a chest, there is a, um, you know, a chance to drop uh, what they call Master's Weapons uh, in there. And, um, and the same thing for uh, Maelstrom Arena. Do it on normal, go all the way through, at the end, there's a chest. Yeah. And then you have your whole setup. Huh. All right. Now, the reason why I pick the uh, Master Staff uh, is because if you look, it gives you um, pluses to spell damage. 600 for four seconds after you activate it, after you do like a lattice, uh, uh, after you um, uh, use a certain skill, Destructive Touch, which I'm going to show you um, in there. And um, the Maelstrom one is really nice because you put it at a back bar. Is that your light and heavy attacks deal additional damage in your Wall of Elements, which is a skill we have as well. So let me show you those. All right. So my back bar that I use on this, actually show this a little bit easier to see, uh, Winter's Revenge. Unstable wall. All right, that's the thing that if when you place down and stand in it, you're going to do more of your light attacks because of the maelstrom staff. I have my blue Betty for my resources. I have Arctic Blast for a heal. And I've got Inner Light. That way we don't have to, you know, we only have to worry about really four buttons on here. And then I have Icy Rage, uh, which is the uh, destruction. Um, uh, ultimate, you know, uh, I use that. I also one where I'll use the ice comet from the mage, um, uh, from the mage guild, um, if I'm looking for something that you know tracks one target. All right, the front bar in here, I use structured entropy. It's a dot. It does some you know uh, some good damage and gives me back some healing. Uh, Frost reach. That's that destructive touch. The morph of it when you have an ice staff is called frost reach. So when I use this, I also get a 600 uh, spell damage boost, which is really nice. Uh, Deep Fisher, if I can time these two together, it's really nice. It does a really good, you know, hit. Um, then Bird of Prey, I get this mostly for the uh, Minor Berserk when I'm on my own, uh, increasing my damage done uh, by 5%. And it gives me a nice little, you know, running around speed boost. Inner Light again on the front bar. And then I have Flawless Dawbreaker. Now, we've talked about this in um, previous um, builds. So, you know, none of this has, has really changed. Uh, that's why I'm kind of going through it a little quicker. Is uh, Flawless Dawbreaker is there because in the Fighters Guild, um, they've, uh, they changed it in Update 31, where um, you've got Slayer now does weapon and spell damage. Um, for 3% for every fighter's guild that's in there. Um, on top of that, the skill has changed that after activating, so this is the bottom, after activating 
you, uh, you get uh, spell damage for us is increased by 300 for 20 seconds. <clears throat> so if I get this going, I get Frost Reach going with the 600. So that's an extra 900 for about four seconds of here. And I get this to fire off. Man, I hit stuff hard. <laughs> I do. So uh, it's a really good pairing. You know, things just kind of synergize very well uh, with that. So, um, yeah. So everything else from the, uh, from the old video um, uh, still works out uh, as far as uh, uh, for uh, you know, your class abilities. You take all, all the passives in there. Green is the only one that we don't because uh, we're not using anything in there. Uh, Winter's Embrace, you know, we, uh, we've got a couple in there, so we use everything out of here. Um, same thing for your Destruction. One, we are using three skills out of that. Get all the passes within there. Uh, we're using all uh, Light Armor, so broom, get all those. Uh, do, 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 that does affect it. Our Fighter's Guild, which I just talked about. Um, our Mage's Guild. Uh, for the Inner Light and Structured Entropy, get all of those passives. Um, and, of course, all our racial passives and whatever you want to get in crafting. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, so, let's see. Do I have food on? I, is it regular food? Let me, see, let me just make sure it's regular food. Uh, for food, I still use the... Um, uh, solitude, blue food, uh, in there, and that gives me um, uh, more food. Boom. That gives me increased the max health and mass magica uh, in there. I, I my resources are usually pretty good uh, because of uh, having the uh, the Betty and um, 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 and having like a, uh, my pots in there. Let's see, do, 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 do. we're at 11.4, but, you know, uh, uh, that'll go up with using stuff. Um, sitting at 35K uh, Magicka, health is at 24, 13 for the stamina. As we kind of just sit here, I've got uh, 33.14 uh, spell damage. Uh, I have spell crit. Uh, actually, I'll talk about the spell crit in a little bit because that's a little bit... Uh, uh, trickier in that. I'm using the Thief Mundus uh, to help us out with that. Um, yeah. So, um, so yeah. And like I was talking about, you know, uh, we'll get 900 more spell damage if you, you add all these different things that kind of combine and stuff. So uh, uh, we, get a, we get a lot of good spell damage. Um, and we hit pretty hard. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, let's talk a little bit about the um, CP points. They're actually the same. Uh, finding finesse, deadly aim, thermaturge, and actually, I did make a change just recently to using biting aura, which is um, increases your damage done with area of effects um, attacks. Um, I've I've changed that out of using. Uh, master at arms um, and it, it seems to uh, work out a little bit better so we've got um, still some of the crit damage um, the um, um, the single target damage damage over time and AOE damage because we, we still are an AOE powerhouse you know this is what um, uh, we originally started to do with the dad build was to have um, um, was to have uh, like this this back bar was our front bar at one point um, because we would just spam uh, the um, um, unstable wall. It was really good. So uh, yeah, so not too many uh, changes for this build. Um, it's uh, um, it's come out uh, you know very well um, through the. Um, through update um, 32, um, and like I said, I was able to um, um, to uh, get my 68k again. 
when I do that, I actually change a couple of things for the, um, uh, mostly like the skill stuff. Um, I swap out, uh, because the uh, trial dummy gives you bird of, bird of prey, I actually use um, Trap Beast, which I still have to level up a little bit. Um, on the back bar, I include a Mystic Orb uh, on there because, again, uh, the um, the back bar previous is a is a healing, so it doesn't do anything for me uh, in a parse. Uh, with that, um, I make sure in the parse that I use the um, uh, the ghastly eyeball for the uh, eyeball for the parse food, um, and um, and actually your um, uh, spell power pots work just fine. Uh, with that, you've got your blue Betty, so it's you know uh, um, you're you're all set with that anyway. Um, and then uh, for my CP, the only thing that changes in my CP just to give a little bit more is that I change out Fighting Finesse, and I put Backstabber in. Uh, one has 10% to crit damage on uh, crit heal, uh, and I don't need the heal when I'm parsing, and so I put the 15% in there. Um, and you might be saying, well, um, don't we have to worry about that with update, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, update 32? They talked about, you know, uh, the cap. For uh, you know, one hundred and twenty-five percent, and your your Khajiit even, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, Khajiit, can they still be viable? Yeah, of course they can. You get to put stuff in other things, which is really cool, you know. So uh, that's another thing. If you look at it, the great thing about combat metrics here, is that it actually gives me what my cap was, and I'm as close to the cap as you can get, one twenty-four point five. All right, super close to that. All right, and so the things that are giving me, um, um, you know, all the extra stuff, the stuff from the target dummy, of course, but you know, me being Khajiit, it's giving me twelve percent. Me being a uh, uh, backstabber gives me my fifteen percent. Um, uh, warding get a little extra with ten percent. All those little things uh, combined together, and I'm still underneath that cap, uh, even being a Khajiit. So, um, yeah, so don't worry about being a Khajiit. We're still very good uh, in, in what we're doing. And, um, uh, yeah, and like I said, we, we, you know, we got back to where we were with that 68K parse. And uh, he's doing very, 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 very well. I'm still having a ton of fun with him. So um, if you have any questions about the build, um, I'm, uh, you know, just a... a uh, you know, uh, have some comments below and I will answer uh, any questions that I can uh, with it. And um, uh, I'm really uh, happy to see so many people have been, uh, like I said, have been saying that they've been making this build. And it's, uh, it's really great to see. It's really kind of taken off because, again, easy to make, does really well, um, and um, uh, it's a lot of fun um, with it because uh, who doesn't like Frost? You know, so Mr. Freeze. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much. Again, this is part one. Um, I will spend, because uh, I wanted to do, like I said, the armory and the uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of updating on Frostagon uh, with the DPS side of things. But I will be coming out with um, a video shortly um, talking about the tank side and talking about the healing side. Um, so if those have ever interested you. Um, and they're great themed because it's, you know, it's, it's frosty taking and it's frosty healing. So, all right, everyone. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for your patience with me coming out with uh, the latest video. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I will talk to you later. Bye.